Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome to Tech Tiger Academy. I'm Ravi, your instructor for this uh, Checkpoint NGX CCSC, CCSC, and CCSM learning series, right? Um, this is the seventh lecture in the series, and this lecture is going to uh, help you learn how to configure VMware workstation uh, to do the networking, right? How you can create multiple VLANs and how and how you can achieve connectivity between your laptop and between the virtual machines right this is the objective uh, of this lecture so let me just start uh, let me do a recap real quick so far we have gone through uh, topics like you know we understood uh, how to download checkpoint r80.40 that's the first thing please uh, watch that video and download r80.40.iso image also download smart console the next video we did was that we understood uh, three tier architecture uh, please just go through that video and then we understood about different types of deployment modes standalone distributed um, management ha bridge mode as well as full ha and then we also understood uh, the concepts of uh, gaia which is an operating system so so far i'm in this foundational topics has been discussed and you know the foundation now it's time to uh, uh, just move your hands around VMware right and I'm going to use VMware as a whole soul to demonstrate all labs and I can configure any complex any complicated labs using my VMware workstation just to demonstrate to you maybe I can show you that how how my VMware looks like you will be surprised to see that uh, you name an appliance right and that's something I'm running over my VMware workstation let me show you that sir I have a Juniper SRX running over here I have all F5 uh, appliances running over here I have Windows servers I have checkpoint I have Barracuda firewall I have LT on Radware I have Nexus I have Kali I have big IP again I have Fortinet firewall and that's a DLP endpoint protector all these VMwares, all these works, all these virtual machines are configured uh, in my environment, and they are just f they are just working fine. But but the context, right? But the most important thing here is that what you need to understand is is this piece is something known as VMware Virtual Network Editor, right? So in the VMware Virtual Network Editor, it will actually help you understand how you can achieve a networking so uh, first of all uh, we need to create sorry yeah so we, we will configure VMware virtual network editor the first thing is that download and install VMware workstation 15 Pro for Windows that's the link you can find this link in the description of this video and then you can download that once it is downloaded you can easily get a trial license from the github just access this link and you will be able to download the keys I will also provide you this link in the description tab once this is downloaded once this is installed then we have to do this right this is this is what I'm going to tell you in any organization what you will find is that there are a couple of common VLANs one is a management VLAN, other is an internet VLAN, that's your ISP link coming down to you. Other is your in inside VLAN, which I have referred as LAN. And other VLAN is a DMZ VLAN, right? Each of these VLAN have specific subnets. So what I have also done, I'm saying that my management VLAN is uh, 192.168.200.0. My ISP, which is my internet VLAN, is 192.168.137.0. Uh, my inside VLAN or my LAN is 192.168.70.0. And my DMZ is 192.168.80.0. That's fine. But then how can I create it over uh, over over VMware right that's what I'm going to tell you now so just so just look very carefully I'm going to my I just launched my VMware right 
I will go to edit menu and I will click on VMware network editor once I do that ensure that you are uh, let me let me just uh, let me just delete them real quick or uh, let me remove them else uh, you will not be able to see them so these are the things that I already have in my environment right but just to just to show you live I'm just removing them and then I will just recreate these four VLANs uh, in my VMware right and then I will also show you how these VLANs are connected to my laptop okay so um, so so just have patience look uh, look very uh, slowly and look very carefully so once you open this VMware virtual network editor you will click on add network once you click on add network you select VMnet 0 then click on OK once you click on OK then uh, it's uh, you will see it coming over here right somewhere here it, it's over here right very nice then I'll again click on add network VMnet 1 Similarly, I'll do this for VMnet 2 as well as VMnet 3, right? So I'm, I'm adding a VMnet 2 and now I will add VMnet 3, okay? Just click on apply. If you look over here carefully, it is installing the virtual adapter, right? So it is just creating uh, these uh, these all VLANs, okay? So I have created four four VLANs: VMnet zero, VMnet one, VMnet two, VMnet three. What next? I'm going to do here. Just have a look at my at this uh, presentation. It's a zero, one, two, three. 0 is going to be host only and then it is going to be 200.0 slash 24 network so I will I will select VMnet 0 here I will click on host only I will click on connect host virtual adapter and I will give it a network 192.168.200.0 I'll click on apply right similarly I'll do it for VMnet 1 for VMnet 1 I will select 192.168.137.0 right so so let it uh, let it happen for VMnet 0 and then after this we will we will do it for VMnet 1 now now I have selected VMnet 1 make sure that the host only and this option is selected and here just change it to 137 right just click on apply give it some time next we'll do is for VMnet 2 for VMnet 2 this is this is going to be 70.0 right in a 70.0 let me go back to VMware alright this is VMnet 2 I will select 70.0 slash 24 and VMnet 3 is going to be 80.0 right so yeah, it is already done so just have a look carefully right something is getting installed some some virtual network adapters are getting installed on your laptops right and these laptops will actually build connectivity between your laptop and and the virtual machines sometimes you want to have your virtual machine in, in a different network you may choose to create a virtual machine uh, in all the four VLANs so take an example you can create a virtual machine with four NIC cards and each NIC card into each VLAN or you can create a virtual machine with only two NIC cards into two VLANs it's all up to you in this lab itself 
I'm only talking about four networks, but it's all up to you. You can create even more than four VLANs. Have a look at my side right here. So I have VMNet 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So I have so many networks already created just because I have very complicated lab that, uh, 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 that I'm running on my VMware workstation. Once you do all this, just click on OK. Now, I just want to show you that what has happened right now, you know, that, that, that you know, like whatever you have done, what actually has happened in the backend. So what I'm going to show you next is that now check interfaces on your computer and you will see that virtual NIC card is installed on your computer with following properties. So now you will see that in your network connections, you will see that VMNet 0, VMNet 1, VMNet 2, VMNet 3, virtual network adapter has been created on your laptop and each of these virtual network adapter has uh, has dot one IP address just to start with right so let me just show you that so how I'm going to show you is that I'll just go to network connections ncpa.cpl and here you'll see that vmnet 0 is here vmnet uh, one is uh, vmnet vmnet zero is here uh, uh then let me let me just refresh it over here it will take some time yeah vmnet zero is here vmnet 10 vmnet 11 vmnet 12 13 14 15 16 17 let me again go back to my vmware adapter So that's my VMNet zero. That's adopted. That's one. That's two. That's three. Okay. It will take some time. Let us wait. Let us wait for some time, and then uh, they will they will just appear on my laptop. Yep. So VMNet zero is here. Uh, let us wait let us wait let us wait NCPA CPL again I'm going so VMNet 0 is here so VMNet 3 has come VMNet 2 has come and then uh, uh, VMNet 4 will also come so let us wait so let me show you VMNet 0. Let me right click here. Let me go to status. Just go to details and you will see that its IP address is 192.168.200.1 with a subnet of slash 24. And similarly, you will see that VMNet 2 is enabled and its IP address is 192.168.70.1. And similarly, VMNet 3 is a uh, One ninety two dot one sixty dot eighty dot one, right? What is left is now VMNet one, I believe, right? Give it some time; it will also come, right? Sometime it actually takes time, but then we have seen that uh, the three interfaces, virtual network adapters, have already been installed on my laptop, right? So then, what I'll do as an example, I'll show you. Take an example: if this is the virtual machine, I'll create f these four adapters, right? And then I'll choose uh, each of these adapters. Let's say that this adapter I'll choose to be into VMNet 0. The next adapter I'll choose to be into VMNet 1. The next adapter I'll choose to be into VMNet 2. And next adapter I'll choose to be into VMNet 12. That's my specific case. But then this is how we are going to connect these virtual network adapters into the virtual machine, right? So this is how you will be able to connect back. So now I'll take an example VMNet 0. So VMNet 0, now your virtual machine has got IP address 200.1. And let's say that your VM machine, you configure an IP 200.128. So you can easily ping from your laptop to 200.128. You can connect over HTTP. You can do SSH, whatever you want. You can achieve that connectivity with the help of this. So this is very um, this is very wonderful way 
uh, of creating connectivity between even between virtual machines even between the host and the virtual machines so that's all guys um, that's all what I just wanted to uh, teach you in this lecture just watch this lecture carefully also watch my previous lectures as well so that you can well connect yourself uh, with the rhythm of this course right and that's all guys um, uh, just appreciate if you can uh, click over subscribe if you can like this video if, if you can give some comments if you can share it with your colleagues so that they can also take advantage of this learning uh, that's all guys have a wonderful day just stay healthy um, um, stay happy have a great day guys